Awesome. How are you, Andrew? I'm good. How you doing? Oh, it's been a long day. I'd take my dog to the vet. So, you know. Oh, all... yeah. Is the dog been... okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he we thought he hurt his leg. He's just old and fat, so his knees are bugging him. But oh. it was a it was an adventure, which great when I'm thinking about your emotional wreck of a movie. So, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta tell you, I saw it at Telluride. And I kind of do an okay job when I'm there of not overlooking into things. I know the filmmaker. I like the filmmaker. I want to see his movie. Yeah. Um I had lost my mother in January, so I uh, was not prepared for your film. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I imagine, you know, you know what you're making, right? And you make your film and you feel like it goes well, but you, you never obviously know. But once you start to show it to people and you get the sort of various responses you're getting, because there's people like me who look at it that way. There's people who look at it from the coming out angle. Do you sort of... How do you sort of comprehend the fact that it it means so many different things to so many different people? I mean, look, I love that because it was always the intention. I knew I wanted to make something that was about a specific experience yeah. and that I would dig into that specificity. But I always hoped that if I did that, then it would end up weirdly speaking to more people because it wasn't just a bland version of something. And you look, when you are dealing with loss and grief and loneliness and family, you know that it's going to speak to a number of people. Yeah. We've all been children. Sure. <laughs> a lot of us have, end up being parents too. And yeah. look, we all lose people and we all, that, that's what our life involves. It's okay. like we always are losing people that we care about and we love. So I knew it had that effect. But what's been so like reassuring is that, that it's, it's, it seems to be, you know, it can be devastating, but also cathartic yeah. to people. And it was, you know, I wanted the film to be, I suppose, kind and compassionate and speak right. to how all of us go through difficult things in our lives. And that just if we can all watch this together and see someone else going through something difficult, somehow we'll feel a little bit better about our own difficult, you know, experiences. Right. Well, yeah, no, you are <clears throat> a filmmaker not afraid to put someone through the ringer, uh, make, you, make you suffer for it a little bit. But I think what you're saying is true. One, it is cathartic in a way because of the way it's structured. And two, I think if it was more generic, then it wouldn't speak to people because it wouldn't feel like somebody's life. I think you're right. Like I, you know, I, we have a different existence, but you can connect to the feelings, even if the event is different, just like someone watching it who hasn't lost a parent, they're not watching it thinking about that situation for their life, but they're going through, oh, what the what's that feel like? We've all been through relationships. There's enough there that as long as you kind of have that entryway into the character, you're with the character. You just want to see how it goes, you know? And I also think that loss is something that we all experience in so many ways, and it doesn't yeah. have to necessarily have to do with death. You know, the older you get, the more you realize what happened to that friendship that I had or that relationship I had when I was in my 20s? And I don't see that any person anymore. And I've never told them how much actually they meant to me in my life. And there's so many things that, so we all understand that experience. And I've always, I've watched other films in my life and been like, I can relate to that so well, even though it's nothing to do with my experience. And yeah. that, that to me is the beauty of cinema, that yeah. you, can, you can reach out to an audience or as a, as an audience member, I can look up at the screen and feel like some element of my life is being is being understood, not even reflected, but understood. What backing up just a little bit, like what made you want to tackle this just to begin with? Because you, you know, you sort of you do generate your material in what feels like a very organic way. And I'm sure you get offers to do things a little less personal and, and they're tempting, but not necessarily what you want to do. But, you know, you not working on a huge budget level, but it's still it's this is going to be years of my life from writing it to getting it ready to making it to editing it to releasing like I have to want to spend a lot of time with this one like what made this what you want to spend the time with and two with the emotional aspect of it how do you spend the time with it because every day at some point your granular the granular aspect of like I have to be in these emotions a lot and ask my cast to be in these emotions it's a it's a big ask it is a big ask and it was kind of exhausting and emotionally complicated yeah. and for everybody for actually the whole crew like right. i think i knew when i was making it that it was it was working on a slightly more universal level because it was affecting a lot of people who were working on the film yeah. and it is hard and i think i i came into it 
I finished writing it or actually I was in the middle of writing it during the pandemic. I was living in LA. I was a long way from a lot of family and friends. Uh-huh. It was a very internal time for a lot of us. And I felt like it was the time to make something that felt like this, that was about uh-huh. past and about memory and about trying to move forward from things. And so it just made sense. And But I was nervous about it. And I was, I don't know, it took me a long time. And it, it, it's funny when you do something that feels a bit more, personal you feel more vulnerable oh, yeah. because you know that that is going to have to be exposed to yeah. the world and if people don't like the film you're going to feel like it's a personal attack on you so you have to sort of throw yourself in and be like okay i have to separate myself from the film which it is separate from me but also i just have to also like embrace it as much as i can on a personal level oh yeah no if you made superman you can be like no they just don't like superman it's not me whatever i exactly. i got paid go go to hell whatever you know i'll go make the little one no with the little ones you 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 do feel like oh it's a personal rejection if you don't like what i'm doing because i'm choosing to say this it's not a business decision it's it's you can tell watching the movies it's you know and all you know all all filmmaking to some extent is exposing like yeah. i think any filmmaker that says it isn't and they don't care about reaction is probably not telling the truth like i feel like it's you 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 know it's it's a you putting something out into the world is a is a kind of terrifying prospect yeah and you need <clears throat> and to do it in a manner that everyone needs to see it kevin smith used to tell the joke all the time he's like i have something really personal to say i need five million dollars in ben affleck it's a weird thing that he's like it's a weird thing to say like you most people don't need to do that but they'll make it do we need you know you need to be able to express it and and i think it's obviously heartening when you you know this movie's been embraced quite thoroughly i think because of the the slight risk of I'm yeah. willing to be embarrassed like if exactly. it doesn't yeah, yeah. And, and and being willing to be vulnerable I think the film yeah. is about vulnerability and so I think I was willing to be vulnerable or wanted to be the actors were willing to be vulnerable in the scenes and right. I think all of us you know most of us are pretty vulnerable in our lives in general whether we hide it or don't hide it so I I, I it's always, it always was sort of meant to be a sort of like in some strange way, a comfort blanket to people to say, you know, it's okay. <laughs> Life's not always easy. Here you go. No, but I mean, you know, the, the characters go through things, but I mean, Andrew, despite having, you know, I think played the child aspect is what a, what an ask, first of all, but yeah, to yeah. have that sort of conversation with his parents, yeah, like you said, that's a, it's it, if you get past the just wreck that that is, it is comforting of like, here's a thing no one gets. Yeah. And He's not recognizing at the moment, but he's getting a thing that somewhere down the line he's going to value and they're valuing too. That's the other thing. The the quirk of like the parents understanding the situation. I've never seen that before in a movie. Yeah, like yeah, I know. That was really interesting to me. I was like, because I like the fact that you sort of, because usually in this kind of story, they don't understand that thing. No. But they do understand what they're doing yeah. and what they need to do. Plus they have their own issues. And yeah. the fact they have their own issues is probably what was the most important thing to me in some way. Because in many ways, it's about also forgiving people for yeah. not always doing the right thing. It's not easy to be a parent. You know, parents are young and they're trying to look after kids. And what the fuck do they know? They they still feel like they're kids themselves. Exactly. So I always wanted there to be a sort of, be it, be a sort of a, a love letter to parenting as much mm-hmm. as it is to being a kid or being an adult and trying to have a romantic relationship it's like there's so much that's all wrapped up within each within each other right oh, yeah. and the fact that it works as we wrap up is just a testament to caring about it you know it, it's such an easy film i think for people to be like i, I don't want to even try that but the fact that you did and got this cast and, and has it have it be so emotional while still accessible is the wrong word but you don't feel like it's off-putting like it's i'm asking you to submit to this but i promise it's going to be okay that's that's rare and i think that's why it's connected and it's why i think your films especially are able to do that in a way that not everyone can that's sweet thank you yeah it's nice to know because you know there's no point making a film that audiences don't care about yeah. Like, yeah. especially if you're asking for five million pounds or yeah. whatever it is to make the film, you have to want the audience. You give you're giving a film to the audience, and yeah. then it becomes theirs, and that is what is the like the beauty of making films, I suppose. Oh yeah, and I look forward to to more of it from you. I like the voice, and it's you know you're doing things no one else is doing, and you're doing them in a specific way, and it's makes the filmmaker heart ha- happy for I think the people who watch it. So. Keep up the good work, and I appreciate you you taking the time. This was fun. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys.